Good morning everyone, especially to you Sir Alfredo Libuon. It is my honor to introduce myself. I am Mary Grace C. Altamarino, a student of Jose Rizal Memorial State University Tampilisan Campus and a second year college student. For today's video, I am going to have a demo teaching in science and the topic was all about the solar system. So I have here my semi-detailed lesson plan. So now, let's get started. May I request everyone to please stand up for our opening prayer. May I call Nika to lead the prayer. For the Catholic, you may now sign of the cross. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, Amen. Heavenly Father God, we thank you for giving us new opportunities to learn. I ask for your protection as we begin our new topic that our teacher will discuss. Fill our minds with learning. This I ask in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. So, good morning, class. Good morning. I am Miss Mary Grace C. Altamarino, and you can call me Teacher Grace. So, before you sit, please pick up the pieces of paper under your chair. Okay, please be seated. So, today I'm going to take, check your attendance. Raise your right hand if your name is called. Okay, so we have Nika present, Lauren present, John present, James present, we have Kiara present, okay, how about Marielle, Marielle, oh present, so Today class, no one is absent. Let's give ourselves a round of applause. So, how was your vacation? That's good! Have you enjoyed your vacation bonding with your family? That's good to know. So, what activities have you done during your vacation? Anyone? Yes, Lauren? You went to the beach. Wow, beach is so refreshing, right? How about you, Kiara? You stayed at your home. Still, um, best memorable, still a memorable um, vacation you have. How about you, John? You attend a dance workshop. Wow, it shows how talented you are in dancing. How about you, Marielle? You read a book. Wow. So, before I'm going to start our discussion, I want you to read first our school agreement. Okay? Okay, let's read all together. First, listen attentively to the teacher. So, it is important to listen to your teacher when the teacher is discussing in front. So, it is not just about to listen attentively, but of course, you have to understand what the teacher is discussing or the lesson she teach. So, we have number two all together. Do not talk, especially when the teacher is talking. So, class, I want you to uh, remind that whenever you will ask a question, you always have to uh, raise your right hand. So, the third is to cooperate and participate actively during class discussion and, act and activity making. So, 
later we will have our activity some activities and all you have to do is to cooperate actively to work um, with your group to to help each other to to doing our activity making so is there any question regarding to our agreement do you have okay yes maria so if you want to be just raise your hand and ex excuse yourself and that's really fine okay anything else none okay let's proceed before we're going to proceed to our lesson i will show you a short video clip and all you have to do is to observe and familiarize the song is there any question none okay let's watch and enjoy we all come from a place the entire human race Depends upon our planet Racing through outer space And there are eight planets That orbit around the sun Come on, we'll introduce you And name them one by one Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars Jupiter, Saturn Uranus, Neptune Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars Jupiter, Saturn Uranus, Neptune I'm Mercury, the smallest planet you see You humans could never live on me My atmosphere's too thin and I orbit too fast My days are long About 60 Earth days, as a matter of fact I am Venus Super hot, I spin backwards in a way the Earth is not I am closest to the Earth in distance and size I have no moons, I hope you can sympathize I'm Earth, the planet that you're on, you know I'm terrestrial but covered in H2O I collide with things that I can't avoid But my atmosphere protects me from meteoroids I'm Mars and you can jump higher on me Because I have a third of Earth's gravity I hear you plan to visit soon I'll be your first destination since the moon I'm Jupiter with my 79 moon crew Like Io and S2003 J2! Yeah, you could say I have a pretty large girth Here's a storm twice the size of your mama Earth Oh! My name's Saturn, check out my pretty rings These rings are a few of my favorite things I'm a giant made of hydrogen and helium And please stop hitting me with things my name's Uranus, and I'm a nice giant That's dope! I was the first planet found with the telescope I rotate backwards and on my side I smell like rotten eggs, but that's just the hydrogen sulfide I'm Neptune, I'm the windiest planet around I got supersonic winds that's faster than sound An ice giant with 13 moons And a dark vortex that may go away soon and I'm Pluto, and I will not be forgotten. Pluto, Pluto, Pluto. Beautiful, but um, yeah, we've been over this, and you're considered a dwarf planet these days, so... Girl, I'm the biggest object in the Kuiper belt. Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars. Jupiter, Ju Jupiter, Saturn. Uranus, Neptune Sing along real strong for the next two Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars yeah. Jupiter, Saturn Uranus, Neptune And I guess not Pluto the video that I presented earlier, 
what can you observe or what can you notice? Anyone? Yes, you're raising your hand. There is sun. Very good. So how about... Ah, yes, you're raising your hand. There is a planet. Very good. So, uh... If you were given a chance class to to go to our outer space, where will it be and why? So if you're given a chance to go out to outer space, where it be and why? Yes, you're raising your hand. In Mars and why? Ah, you want to go there and discover new things about what happened or to live life in Mars. That's a great idea. So I have here some picture. All you have to do is to tell me what can you say about the picture. So this is the picture. So anyone can can anyone tell me what the picture is this? Yes, you're raising your hand. This is fire. Uh-huh. Another one. Lava. Uh-huh. Let's try another one. Yes, Maria. Sun. Sun. Very good. Let's give a round of applause for Maria. So we have another picture. This is the second picture. Okay. Can anyone tell me what can you observe or can you tell about the second picture? What can you notice? Yes, you're raising your hand. There is a planet and the sun. Very good, exactly. As you can see, there is a planet surrounded here and the sun. So that's exactly your correct Marielle. So now class reflect to what I you've done a while ago. What do you think would be our topic for today? Anyone? About planet. That's partially you're partially correct. Who wants to try? all about the sun and the planet another one you are correct so today class i guess no one can tell me what exactly our topic was all about so let me introduce our topic for today our topic was all about solar system but before we're going to proceed, let us first read our objective. Okay. I want you to read all together. At the end of the period, at least 75% of the class will be able to number one identify the planet in the solar system letter b value the importance of solar system and draw a solar system and label it so we have here the meaning of what is solar system
Please be quiet. Boys at the back. Minimize your voice. John, please be quiet. Okay. So, our topic was all about the solar system. So, what is solar system? Please read Kiara. Okay. The solar system is the gravitational gravitationally bound system of the sun and orbit it so this is the picture of how the solar system looks like so this is now the solar system it consists of our star the sun here's the sun and Everything bound to it by gravity. So it includes the planets. So we have here the planets. This um, circle around the sun. So this is what we call the orbit. Orbit. Sorry. Orbit. So what is sun? Anyone? Okay. The sun is the star at the center of the solar system. As you can see, this is the solar system and the sun is in between the solar system. So its gravity holds the solar system. So it's going to hold, the gravity will hold the solar system. Okay, so what is star? So star is an astronomical object compressing a luminous period of plasma held together by its gravity. So, class, have you seen star? Yes, especially during at night. Um, there is uh, so many star we can see above, right? Do you think star is beautiful? Yes. So, can anyone tell me what would be, um, what will happen if we don't have star? There is a darkness until um, the surrounding is dark and it's so boring. Okay, so now let's proceed to the eight planets we have. Actually, there is nine planets we have but the ninth planet is missing so let's discuss what are these planets okay we have here the eight planets. So we have first the Mercury. So please read. Mercury is the smallest planet in the solar system. So class, Mercury is the smallest planet in solar system and the closest to the sun. So if this is the sun, this is the sun. So, from the, the Mercury is placed here. And this is the Mercury. Okay, so Mercury is belong to here. It says that the Mercury is closest to the Sun. So... This is how it looks. So we have the second, Venus. Venus is the second planet from the Soric and it's named after the Roman goddess of love and beauty. So as we can observe that the Venus is a Roman 
in Roman goddess of love and beauty. So the most beautiful planet says there in my research that it is Venus. So this is how it looks. So it is the second planet from planet in the solar system. So, so let's um, paste here our Venus. So since the first one is the Mercury, so let's paste here the second planet, which is the Venus. So let's proceed to our third planet, Earth is the third planet from the sun and the only astronomical object known to harbor life so where did we live in where do you live uh, what planet do you live brother anyone yes you're raising your hand it's okay don't hesitate it's okay to try just stand up and Tell your idea or opinion, your answer. In the earth. Exactly. You are correct. So we live in the earth. So it says here about 71% of earth's surface is made up of ocean. As we can observe that earth is something, um, the color of the earth is blue so meaning there is 71 percent of earth's surface is made up of the ocean so as we can observe to our planet earth this planet earth we can see that there is a lot of oceans beaches or lakes or Anything we can observe, like in Boracay Island, in Dakak Island, or in anything that we can see in our planet. So, it is the third planet in the solar system. So, since it is the third, it's next to the Venus. So, let's put it here. Okay, so it seems we don't really have space. Okay, let's proceed to our fourth planet. We have, yes, yes, James, can you please read our fourth um, planet? Okay, thank you so much, James. So our fourth planet is what we call... Mars, very good. So this is how it looks like. So okay, so this is the picture of Mars. Mars is the fourth planet from the sun and the largest in the solar system. So Mars is the largest planet in the solar system so since planet mars is the fourth planet from the sun we're going to place here after the earth okay here's the mars okay right our planet is so beautiful right okay now let's proceed to our fifth planet you can read Okay, um, we have Kiara. Please stand up, Kiara, and read our fifth, uh, fifth planet. Jupiter, Kiara. Yes. Okay, thank you, Kiara. So we have our fifth planet, Jupiter. So this is how it looks like. Good. So this is the fifth planet and what we call the Jupiter. 
so since we don't really have space here let's put um jupiter here after the mars so let's proceed to our sixth planet so i'm going to read the sixth planet is what we call the saturn so what is saturn saturn is the sixth planet from the sun from the sun from here so this is the saturn okay and the second largest in the solar system after jupiter so saturn is the second largest planet uh, in the solar system after the jupiter so this is the the jupiter and after is the saturn so we have uranus uranus is the seventh planet from the sun so this is the uranus uranus okay observe listen attentively because later on we have our activity are you excited mm -hmm. but before that we have to listen you have to listen to our my discussion so the seventh planet is the uranus after the sun so one two three four five six and after after the saturn we have uranus so let's put it here okay almost we don't really have space but here still it has the third largest planetary radius and fourth largest planetary mass in the solar system so let's see where did the uranus place here so here around it this is the uranus if you can see okay so let's have neptune okay let me read this neptune is the eighth and the farthest known solar system farthest meaning this is far very far from the sun and in the solar system it is the fourth largest planet by diameter the third most massive planet and the densest giant planet so this is how it looks like and the place there is so cold because it is way far from the sun so meaning the mercury here they feel that the planet mercury is hot because it is near from the sun so let's place here the yes the neptune so did you know that there is a missing planet can anyone tell me what are what is the missing planet we have anyone from the class um let me call nika yes nika it's so it's all right don't be afraid let's just stand up and try to answer there is no pressure here i'm not going to punish you anyway okay nika your answer is pluto very good exactly you are correct miss nika so the missing planet is what we call pluto so here is the picture of pluto Ta -da! looks like dark right Any, anything there is i think um it's like dark here so yes let's put pluto in the last part so here oh 
Okay, so can anyone tell me what are the planets we have during my discussion without looking my visual aid? So I'm going to cover it. Okay, yes, boys at the back, you're talking again. Okay, yes, Kiara, you're raising your hand. Okay, we have Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, and Uranus. Let's give ourselves a round of applause. Very good. Good job, everyone. So, is there any question? None? Are you sure? Is there any clarification? So, I assume that you are ready for to our next activity. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Are you ready? Yes, you are. Now, we're ready for our first activity. No, the second one because we have already done um earlier about um guessing the picture or yeah so i want to divide the class into two okay no need to count this row will be the group one and the name of your group will be sun and this row will be the group two and your name will be should be um uh, think 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 Star, okay. Group one, the sun, and the group two, the star. So, group one, listen carefully. Group one, okay. Group one, okay. So, all you have to do is to draw a solar system and label it. So, you're going to draw a solar system and you have to um, write it, you have to label it. So, did you bring your school supplies or thick band paper? Your how about your coloring materials? Did you bring? Okay, very group group very good group one. I'm sorry. Okay. So for the group two, I want you to identify the planet that you live in right now. Or the planet and you have to Draw in a clean band paper. Okay. After you draw, you have to explain on how to show care the planet you have chosen. Okay. Is there any question? Question? Yes, group one. Okay, okay, okay. After you're done, I'm going to give you five minutes is enough for this activity. What you have to do is to cooperate within your group, okay? This is very important. So, you have your leader. Leader, can you please um, list all the members and submit it to me after, after this, okay? So, you have to cooperate within your group and we're going to help each other. Okay, is that clear? Okay, no more question. Timer starts now. Time is up. Go back to your chair. I want you to choose one representative to present your answer. Let's give ourselves a round of applause for group one. Wow, this is your work. And you show how you draw the solar system and you label it perfectly. So there is a sun and the planet surrounded by the planet. So very good group one. How about the group two? Wow, the earth. So they live in the earth. So they, they 
representative from the group group of two explained on how to show care in our earth so we have two plant trees more trees stop cutting trees we have two um, throw our garbage properly, non-biodegradable and biodegradable. So, I guess you already mastered and understand our lesson for today. And now, let's proceed to another activity. Before we're going to proceed to our next activity, I want to ask if there is any question regarding to our lesson for today about the solar system. It's okay. You have to ask um, which part of our lesson you didn't understand well. Is it from the planet or the solar system? Okay, so I have question. Are you sure you don't you don't have question class? Okay, I have question here. So how can we show care to our planet, which is the Earth? Or how how are we going to protect planet? Like in mars or any planet jupiter saturn or venus anyone yes stop burning plastic plastics very good that's a great idea how about the other plant more trees very good this will um shows how we care our planet by planting more trees to save our planet okay so i guess um you already understand under our lesson for today so now let's proceed to our next activity are you ready i guess you are okay let's do it mm -hmm. Okay class, our next activity is very interesting. So I have here on my right hand pictures of our of the planet. So there is no name in it. It's just a, a picture and on my hand, my left hand, this is the name of the planet. So we have here example um, Mercury, Neptune, or Uranus. So, the same group, the group Sun and the group Star, I want, I want you to choose four representatives from each group and proceed in front. You have to take seat in front. Four representatives. Only four representatives. So, I have here, you have to choose four pictures okay i i mean i have i will divide this pictures into two so four four from each group and here also so i'm going to place the name here in front and all you have to do is to paste the four this is this would be the group two and the group one so paste the picture and Below the picture, we're going to paste the name of what planet is, planet is, is this. It's this. Like, for example, this. So, we have to put here, for example, this is the Earth, and you have to label it Earth. Okay? Is there any question? Clarification? None? So, let's get started. So, group 1, group 2, proceed. Okay, class. Done. Okay, let's see the work of group 1. So, this is correct. This is correct. This is correct. And this is correct. 
Okay, group one got the total points of 10 over 10. So let's proceed to group two. Okay, correct. This is correct. This is correct. Venus, uh huh. Uranus and Jupiter. Job well done. Very good. Give yourself a round of applause. Very good class. You impressed me. So, okay, for our next activity, I want you to get one whole sheet of paper. Copy the question. Understand the question and answer it. Avoid cheating. If I caught you cheating, there will be a deduction point from your total score. Okay, let us read the direction together, all together. In your one whole sheet of paper, copy the question in the block provided before the item, write the correct answer. So, is this clear? Any more question? None? Okay, five minutes and the time starts now. Time is up. Pass your paper forward. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, pass it here. And okay. I want you to make a poster that shows how to care the planet. The total points is 30 points and below make a short description about the poster. Minimum of 5 sentences for the total points of 20. So, draw it in your clean bun paper and after below make a short description about the poster and the total points overall for 50 um, points so is there any question none okay that's all for today okay stand up for our prayer then the father the son the Holy spirit amen thank you lord for this opportunity of learning thank you so much for guiding us throughout this lesson this is us in the name of jesus amen then if the father is the son the holy spirit amen goodbye class okay take care goodbye